Up by one point with 10.8 seconds left in the game, it seemed as if Ohio State was going to pull off another close postseason victory. Unfortunately for them, Dayton went down the floor and scored two points of their own before Aaron Kraft missed the final shot of his Ohio State career, and Ohio State lost by a final score of 60 to 59. I mean, we didn't come out with the game and start the game with all the intensity we should have, all the energy. Um, you know, doing media yesterday, I just I remember saying if we don't come to play or we don't come ready, fresh out the gate, it would be our last game, and we didn't come ready to play out the gate, and it was our last game. It's just a common thing with us all year, uh, not coming out ready to play, um, guys not having their head into the game, and it costs us tonight. As the Buckeyes lamented, their slow start forced them to play from behind for most of the game, but eventually they were able to claw their way back and take a three-point lead with just five minutes left to play. The Buckeyes and Flyers went back and forth in the final minutes, but Dayton hit three free throws to take a one-point lead with just under 30 seconds left. With the desire to don the scarlet and gray once again, Aaron Kraft swooped in for a reverse layup to give Ohio State a 59-58 lead and force Dayton into one final opportunity to win it all. They're playing me to my right hand all game, so went back to my left, saw an opening, just trying to get it up on the glass, you know, and it went in for me. Dayton guard V. Sanford calmly dribbled the ball and put up a shot that would give the Flyers the lead. As the ball fell through the hoop, Ohio State had just three seconds to scramble for one final shot to win the game. In what seemed to blur, Kraft flew down the court, drew contact, and lifted for a shot, but it wasn't meant to be, as Aaron Kraft's final shot in an Ohio State uniform did not go down. Didn't shoot hard enough. And, you know, that's, that's how our season's gone. You know, we've been right there ten times. And this is just another one of those we were right there and I, and I couldn't do it. With his career as a Buckeye coming to an abrupt end, Aaron Kraft once again diverted the attention from himself following the game and focused on the emotion he was feeling for his team. To be honest, you know, I'm, not, I'm more upset we lost the game. I'm not, I'm not upset that, that I'm done. I'm not, I'm not, not upset that uh, I, don't, I don't get to, to play for Ohio State again. Uh, I'm upset with the way you know, we lost the game. Kraft was only one of the Buckeyes upset and angered in the locker room, but there was only a positive feeling regarding the two seniors and their impact on the Ohio State program over their four years. Those are my brothers. You know, I love them to death. They've uh, they really took me under their under their wing since day one, and uh, whether it be freshman year, uh, pick me up for you know the six o'clock workouts and all that stuff. You know, uh, they did what great teammates. Uh, are supposed to do and they do what you would expect they did what you would expect of great teammates you know I, I love them both to death and wish them the best of luck you know I, I honestly I, I don't know um, I can never put into words what, what uh, you know he's meant to, to my life to my program to Ohio State um, you know, I, I think without a doubt he's going to go down as one of the greatest players to ever wear the scar on the gray um, you know I, I you just you know, it's unfortunate it ends this way. It's unfortunate for him that, uh, you know, he's not going to his fourth straight Sweet 16. But, uh, you know, as, as, as time marches on, I, I think that, uh, you know, without a doubt, um, I, I know this from my perspective, he's, he's, he's a special victim. Aaron Kraft and Lenzel Smith Jr. will not don the scarlet and gray again, but LaQuinn Ross might, as he will decide his NBA fate within the coming weeks. For Buckeye TV, I'm Hayden Grove.